Hello, my name is Theodora Soder, and this is the Salt Lake Tribune's Daily Buzz, a daily video series where we bring you a story of the day. Finding an affordable place to rent in the St. George area is difficult for working professionals, but it is even more so for the service workers who staff the stores and restaurants and other businesses, and whose hourly wages do not cover the cost of housing. According to a May 2022 Atwood Innovations Plaza report, workers in Washington County average $14.19 an hour. The most an employee making that amount can spend for a rental without exceeding 30% of his or her income is roughly $738 a month. That is not just a problem for employees, but poses a dilemma for employers who are finding it increasingly difficult to recruit or retain talent for their businesses. Chris Connors, who owns the Farmstead Bakery Eatery in downtown St. George, says he spends hours each week trying to find places where his employees can afford to live. Thus far, he said, one apartment or owner quoted him $1,800 for a one-bedroom apartment and another $1,400, he said. That's more than most workers in the area can afford, especially if they have a car payment and must also pay for utilities and buy groceries. Even if affordability was not an issue, availability often is. Connor says many apartment complements complexes he calls are at 99% occupancy and have long waiting lists. It's not just line looks, cooks, or other service workers caught up in Washington County's housing crunch. Greg Robertson, CEO of St. George-based Ram Aviation Space and Defense, said the area's housing woes have negatively impacted his company's 250 employees, many of whom are commu- commuting to work each day from areas as far away as Mesquite, Enterprise, and Apple Valley. Retaining To retain his employees, Stuart Ferber, owner of the Marriott Fairfield in Virgin and the Zion Canyon Campground and RV Resort in Springdale, just out of Zion National Park, has 23 housing units that he provides free of charge, along with utilities, to 35 of his employees. That said, providing or building homes or apartments for employees is not an option for less affluent business owners, especially in Springdale. And even more so when lots in the resort town's commercial sector range between $400,000 to $1 million. For his part, Robison is pursuing other options. He is currently working with the state, St. George, Washington County, the Five County Association of Governments and Developers to explore the feasibility of purchasing a large tract of land to develop housing for lower income workers. It's too early in the process, he added, to say where the development will be located or who will pay for it. So we want to know what you think. What needs to be done to stop this housing crisis? Let us know your thoughts by either leaving a comment below or tweeting us at SLTrip. And if you want to watch the Daily Buzz as soon as it drops each morning, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it.